harvester ant nest. So I'm going to scoop up one of these gals and uh, we're going to answer the question just how painful the Florida harvester ants sting. got a handle on her and let's see how painful is the Florida harvester my name is Jack and for the past four years I've been searching for the most painful stinging insect on the planet now I've taken the sting of the bullet ant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, it's um. Oh man, oh man, it's definitely worse than the tarantula hawk wasp. Giant hornets. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Wow, the fearsome executioner wasp. Wow, actually, that is definitely worse than the warrior wasp. And much, much more. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Now today I'm searching for the most venomous ant in Florida, the Florida harvester ant. Now harvester ants, drop for drop, have some of the most toxic venom in the insect world and will readily bite and sting if they feel their nest is in danger. Now, although they're small, the sheer potency of this venom ought to pack a notable punch. Let's see just how bad the most venomous ant in Florida really is. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in the Florida Panhandle, and I'm looking for a very special insect. Now, this is a species of insect I have seen many sister species of, but this is a species that has evaded me upon every trip to the beautiful state of Florida. Today, I am searching for the Florida harvester ant, or Pagana myrmex badius. Now, these are one of the most unique harvester ants in the world because they actually have major workers, not just the singular caste system that all other Pugana Myrmex New World harvesters have. So they're very, very interesting. And of course, like many other harvester ants, they possess a very potent venom and a very painful sting. So uh, let's see if we can find some Florida harvesters and let's see just how bad the sting of these harvester ants is. Let's check it out. Like most species of Pagana Myrmex, the Florida harvester also nests in open spaces. So we're just kind of walking up this trail looking for bare patches without any grass where we could perhaps see the nest opening of one of these beautiful Florida harvester ant nests. Check this one out here. Here's what we're looking for. This, right here in this direct sunlight, is a harvester ant colony, harvester ant nest. So I'm gonna scoop up one of these gals and uh, we're gonna answer the question, just how painful the Florida harvester ants sting. So let's get the biggest one. I haven't really seen any majors, so I'm just gonna try and get the largest worker. They're not terribly big. my worker all right now what I have here is my lovely lovely Florida harvester ant worker and uh, we're going to test here how painful the sting is I know this is a small ant uh, but like I said these animals are incredibly toxic some of the most toxic insects in the world are these Pagana Myrmex harvester ants so come and take a look I'm just gonna kind of dump her out there careful Beautiful ant. You see that, folks? She's kind of walking around. Oops. And I've got a handle on her. And let's see how painful is the Florida harvester. Come on. Come on. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo. There she goes. She got a little sting in. She's pumping. She's pumping. Ouch. You can see her stingers stuck in my arm there. Oh, I'll take a look. Oh, wow. That is quite painful for an ant that size. I'm very impressed. Thank you, cutie. Whew. So, I mean, uh, it's not uh, it's not as nearly as bad as maybe, say, uh, like a Polistes paper wasp or, or a yellow jacket or anything like that. But uh, it is very painful uh, in terms of the size of this animal. Like, I would say this is probably as painful as a small wasp or maybe the equivalent of, I don't know, 10 fire ant stings at once in the exact same place. So, not pleasant. And you can imagine these being social little ants they have a colony's worth of stings at the ready uh, so to stick your hand in a nest uh, would be quite uncomfortable but uh, it wasn't too terribly bad like i said these are these can be fairly toxic um so we're gonna i'm gonna update and we're gonna see uh just how much this does i, I think it'll be kind of a flash in the pan but you can see here it was very it's very red right at the kind of epicenter kind of pink but uh nothing nothing too bad so i'll keep updating but i think uh i think uh, that is the full extent of the beautiful florida harvester ant too cool here we are about five minutes you can see kind of a little red dot underneath my brown recluse scar there it's kind of purplish dot it's that one there and you can see some discoloration some mild inflammation uh, but really, the initial pain is totally gone. Here we are about 10 minutes after, and you can see there's a little more of a raised bump and some more inflammation. Super, super weird. So obviously there's the little bump, but what's, oop, but what's even stranger is the fact that right here in my kind of lymph node in my armpit, I'm having like an aching pain. Uh, so it took a few minutes for that venom to kind of crawl up my arm and up into my my lymph node there. So that's super, super strange. Uh, obviously, even such a tiny sting, such a tiny yield from those uh, ants uh, does possess that super, super toxic venom. Uh, and you can really feel how toxic these, these ants are when they sting you because... I mean, I don't, I don't really get that type of reaction with really any other sting. So it's very, very interesting. If you'd like to learn more about these really cool harvester ants, hop on over to my other harvester ant video. You can find the link in the description below, or you can click the little card in the top right hand corner of your screen now. Thanks for watching. Well, we had a great time testing out the beautiful Florida harvester ant, and at this point, you have seen the full extent of what this sting is capable of doing. So, now, my friends, it is a time for me to be on my merry way, and for you to be on your merry way as well. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little addition to the sting test. I couldn't come to Florida without being stung by the Florida harvester ant. It was super interesting, but like I said, eh not too bad. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads and posts and things. Of course, join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content. Uh, buy the merch. And of course, of course, please join me next time on the next adventure of Jack's World of Wildlife. I'll see you later.